this chat week 11 chat um we are obviously getting really close to the end but today or this week we're we're like in like i said before we're not really uh learning anything new it's really just trying to reinforce certain uh you know mindset uh your attitude towards things um and then of course keep practicing 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 those habits and fine-tuning your systems that you you put in place these past 10 weeks so in week 11 though um you know we we start out talking about the importance of accountability um we all know that it's super important to stay accountable to something so you don't give yourself an excuse and creating that support system that keeps you accountable so like the people that you are around the most or who you're going to be like the most um, when you surround your, yourself with people that have the same goals uh, the same type of morals you know uh, same uh, views of uh, you know things they're they're going to help you towards that goal even more so if you're constantly around people that are going against your grain or going against the grain of what you want then it's going to get really hard to keep resisting 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 so um you know one of the ways that you can help yourself be accountable is is obviously like getting into a group like physical group and uh of people of like-minded people creating a tribe of people to help you um, stay accountable and motivated whenever you don't feel like it is like joining a gym or, or a workout group or whatever it is. Um, I'm a coach at Versus. Um, lots of our clients um, have been through Versus or members of Versus and Versus classes. Um, but I think the biggest part about um, being a member of Versus Gym and uh, or any gym like that you have people that like come together on a regular basis is the camaraderie and the accountability so like if you don't want to work out that day you know your friends are going to show up and they're probably going to talk you into doing something that you wouldn't have talked yourself into doing by yourself um, so it's really really important to surround yourself with those like-minded people those people that are going to call you out whenever you're not acting towards your goals and what you say that you want that type of stuff so that's really important that's the first part of um this week's lessons was the importance of accountability um but next i think tomorrow is another good lesson and it's a perspective that i think a lot of um people have a a problem like switching their minds about and it's and we ask the question of why do you work out so are you working out to burn energy you know like are you just thinking i need to burn x amount of calories type of thing or are you working out to make yourself a harder human to kill you know are you making yourself stronger is that the goal in mind whenever you go into a workout because the worst thing that you can do is be uh complacent in in that in that situation or in a workout when you have a goal to change your body composition but you're not willing to go that extra mile or that extra effort that's going to be required to change that body composition i see it all the time um especially with you know particularly like women they want to have an athletic looking body but they don't necessarily want to lift weights because they think they're going to get man muscles or they may try to do a certain workout class and it's great for burning energy it's great for just getting your blood flowing and going but they're they get down on themselves whenever they don't get the athletic ath more athletic looking body than what what they thought that they should be for doing that that type of workout so now in week seven if you remember those lessons you know we went over the difference between aerobic versus anaerobic and uh, type of exercise and what those type of exercises give a certain body composition and so you know don't fall into the trap of trying to think of exercise or workouts as a reason to burn energy where you can 
eat a cupcake or something like that. Or worse, if you're like, oh, I totally blew it this weekend. I'm going to do an hour of cardio every single day this week or an hour and a half or whatever it is, like punishment workouts. Like that's the worst type of uh, perspective that you can have going into it because it, it creates this negative feeling about exercise. And exercise is meant to make you feel good. It's, it's meant to fortify your body. It's meant to strengthen your muscles, your tissues, make everything work stronger. So if you can go into a workout thinking like, I'm going to make myself stronger today. You know, where I'm going to push just a little bit further than I would have in the past. That's where changes start to happen. You start training or extra. I call, I like to call it training rather than working out. Like I'm training to make myself stronger. I'm training to make myself faster. Some days, yeah, you may have like a the day and you're just going in to move. But whenever I do that, whenever I'm not feeling too good and I'm just there, I'm just showing up, that's part of my habit. I may not feel like going into it to crush a workout and you're not supposed to crush a workout every single day. Your body couldn't keep up with that. But I keep the habit going and the habit makes me feel better even when I don't want to work out. But I don't get comfy in that, that, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but that complacent type of low key type of working out. I'm thinking like, okay, I don't feel good today. I'm going to do a, some kind of recovery workout so that I feel good tomorrow and I can crush it. You know, I don't go into a workout thinking like, I'm just here to burn some energy. You know, I, I'm just here because I want to eat pizza or whatever it is. You know, if I'm going to eat pizza, I'm going to eat pizza. Or if I'm going to eat a cupcake, I'm going to eat cupcake. And I'm not thinking about punishing myself for it. So that lesson is kind of all about just that perspective of answer the question of why do you work out? Do you enjoy to work out? And if you don't enjoy working out and exercise, then you're doing the wrong type of workouts. Because anytime something feels like a punishment, anytime something feels like it's a negative, you have to use your willpower bank to make yourself do it. Personally, I love training. I love working out. And so when I'm in a bad mood, I know if I just show up and do something, I'm going to feel better. And so that's part of my habitual pattern every single day is, is showing up, doing something, but then once I get started into it, I'm probably going to push myself a little bit harder. So like for ladies, you know, your, my message to you today, and even some guys, if you're, if you're in the, if you're in the uh, gym, just kind of pumping out, you know, high volume, low weight type of stuff and it's really just cardio but you have the goal to have that athletic looking body or that or gain muscle more muscle then you're gonna have to get uncomfortable getting stronger and building muscle is not a comfortable thing I'm not saying that that type of like cardio or circuit training or something like that is a bad thing because it's all good. Like all exercise is good. Like I am a total cheerleader for getting up and moving. Even if you're moving is just walking. Like what we talked about before in week seven, when we talked about making a habit of movement, you know, that's where you need to start. But you need to think, you need to think to yourself, like you, I've got to keep pushing myself a little bit further because it doesn't, it's not supposed to get easier. You just keep getting better because you're getting stronger, because you're getting faster. So if you're at a plateau of, you know, strength, speed, body composition changes, anything like that, that means a variable needs to change and you need to push just a little bit further. So if you're not, if you're, if you're scared of the weight room, if you are, don't know, anything about anything whenever it comes to uh, building muscle, um, that type of thing, like weight training type of stuff. And if you're a cardio bunny and you want to change your body composition, hire a, you can do a couple of things. You can either hire a personal trainer for like a month 
to show you around, give you kind of a program to use, get you comfortable with using weights, navigating a gym type of thing, and then, you know, you don't have to have them forever. It's just like a time period. It's like a learning period. Um, or you join a, a group class. Now, I tend to think group classes are more like teams. Like, I coach an outdoor class out here in my neighborhood, and it's go, where I'm on, in, in this coming year, it'll be 10 years that I've been doing that same class. And there's people in that class that have been there for like eight, eight, seven years. Like it's, it's because we have this camaraderie and we're accountable to each other and we push each other and they keep getting fitter because they show up and because they're encouraged by their, by their peers. And so that's why I'm, I'm a real big cheerleader for the group classes because it keeps you accountable and like with me and Anna, when we work out together, if I'm not motivated to add some extra weight on the bar, she's usually going to say, we're doing it, you know, whether I want to or not. And that ends up pushing me to be a little bit better. So it's all about the tribe. It's all about creating that environment of support and accountability. And especially since we're talking about exercise and weight room and why do you work out, you really need that in that space so you keep pushing forward to get a little bit better. And so when you start exercising to be stronger rather than just to burn energy or to be skinny or whatever those those thoughts that you have like that are advertised to you, oh, I, I wanna look good in a bathing suit, but when you start to train to be faster, fitter, stronger, the body is the byproduct of that type of training, that type of mentality going into the workout. So I want to encourage everybody to kind of uh, rethink why you work out and rethink how your mindset is when you attack a workout. Um, you know, not saying every day needs to be an attack on a workout or every day you need to crush yourself, but majority, when you work out, when you go into it, you know, try to flip that, that mindset, that script in your head that says, I'm here, I'm, you would normally say I'm here to burn calories where actually I'm about to go, you know, lift five pounds heavier than I normal, than I would have chosen for myself. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to see what I can do and what kind of athlete I can become. So that's all I have for you today. A few reminders is uh, next week, week 12, you are turning in your final progress picture. So you're going to need to turn in week one with week 12, okay, by Wednesday. Now on uh, Sunday, I think I give you some, um, I'll make sure that there's some uh, instructions on where to send, but you have to send it into an email. There's instructions on how to do that. Of course, you can upload it to your app later, but for the uh, vote, progress picture vote, I'm going to need y'all to email it to the email address that I provided you in that lesson with the instructions. But remember, I need all, all pictures, front, side, back of week one, and again, all pictures of week 12. All right, so if you have any questions about that, please let us know, but I think you can start sending those in on Sunday if you want to. Um, last day to send in is on Wednesday because uh, Friday the vote will go out and Thursday I use all day to chop heads off the pictures, make everything anonymous so nobody knows. But um, I really, really, really encourage you to turn those in because these pictures are what sell the program to people that don't understand what we do. Like we're, obviously you're in the know now you're in the know of, it's not just about body composition changes, it's about learning how to live and learning how to navigate healthy habits within a chaotic life. But these pictures are what grab people's attention. You know, everybody sees, sees the shiny object, they want what you've got, but they, they need a little bit of a pull in. So. Please turn them in and um, help somebody else's decision to sign up for the next challenge. But even more, you can have a chance to win $1,000. So why not? You know, nothing to lose. All right, so if you have any questions, let us know. We will be back 
next week for our week 12 chat. Bye-bye.